cancer knocked me down, but not out. Now, I'm cancer free. The recovery, it's been tough. I'll need patience, a lot of humor. I'm gonna blame that one on the golf ball. And support from friends and family. Over the last two years, I haven't played much golf, but there's no better place to get back in the game than on 66 courses in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're keeping score, but just teeing it up means I've already won. That might be a pretty good one there, boys. Sweet! Join me on my journey to break bar. If you're coming into Myrtle Beach from the north end, this is one of the very first golf holes you can see from the road as you drive in. It's also one that will stick with you when you play it. There's an American flag behind the green to greet you, and also with the flag stick as you wrap it up. Nothing like a patriotic way to start this day. Love it. So this is Diamondback Golf Course in Loris, South Carolina. We're about 20, 25 minutes from North Myrtle Beach, and I, I love coming here. This is the kind of golf course that I played a lot when I was growing up here in the great state of South Carolina. The folks that own this golf course and run it, and the folks that play it, take a lot of pride in it and it creates a really neat feel. It's the kind of place where you get out on this golf course, you sort of leave the world behind you, enjoy the people you're with and the place that you're at. This is the 12th hole. It's a par three, plays over the pond. I love the American flag there, just beyond the green and on the right. Let me see if I can hit a good shot for these folks. Hang on, baby. Flag high. That clearly was a defective ball. That happens sometimes. The yellow ones, you know, they misbehave. Had that been a ball in fully functioning order, I'd have probably been about six, seven feet right of the hole. I'm gonna blame that one on the golf ball. Check out the gallery. What do you say, folks? <laughs> Uh, folks, folks here are so nice. It, it sort of reminds me of playing junior golf and high school golf here in the state. You know, we'd pile in that van. We played in the spring. We'd play 18-hole matches back then. On a Tuesday and a Thursday, if it was an away match, you know, we might drive an hour or so and end up at a place just like this where the people are nice, the golf course is a lot of fun, just sort of tucked away. I'll tell you what, the conditions here are great. These greens are really in nice shape. Almost an island green in here. Golf course is in really good shape. You know, walk up in here and I don't see any ball marks. A lot of times you go to a place, there's a ton of ball marks. I'm not a big fan of that. That tells me the folks that are playing there are not real interested in maintaining their golf course. I got some left to right here. And the shadow of the flag is a perfect place for me to aim this ball. So I'm going to focus on that shadow of the flag, and if I hit a good putt, it'll come in on the top side. If my eyes go to the hole, I'll miss low. Come on! Boy, I hit a good putt. Thought it had a little more left, in, uh, left or right in it. Gave it a shot. I hate missing putts low. You start them low, no chance. I get that ball going in on the top side of the hole. You want to feel like every putt you hit breaks towards the hole, not away from it. <laughs> you figure that one out, let me know. That was fun, and it's always more fun when you're in the company of some really nice people. Time to head south to my neck of the woods where a cool Merle's Inlet course is ready and waiting.